America is flushing enough power for 30 million homes down the drain every year. Literally 30 million homes or 350 terawatt hours of energy are just being flushed away. Here's why they're doing it. Heat recovery from sewage is not practiced in the United States, but it can generate enough energy for nearly everyone living in California today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. As the temperature lowers during winter months, you normally will increase your heating, right? You'll turn on the heating. Most people do anyway to stay comfortable. And not just humans, even our devices such as washing machines, um, dishwashers, sinks, etc., we flush hot water down the drain constantly. Most households do it every single day. If you combine that with showers, Americans are flushing 350 terawatts of energy down the drain every single year. We don't have to be. This is enough energy to power 30 million homes and obviously have a huge reduction on carbon emissions. As countries race to reduce fossil fuel dependence, there's a demand for renewable energy sources that are relatively affordable. While these technologies though need time to be scaled up, there's a huge untapped source of energy right beneath our feet and solutions to tap it already exist, say global engineering firm Donfass. So this excess heat is the terminology used to describe heat generated during the operation of a device, which then has to be let out since there's no use for it. So, you know, you generate heat when you have a shower and then it has to go down the drain. An internal combustion engine, a refrigerator or data centers all produce heat that is just left into the atmosphere. However, heat generated from showers, washing machines, dishwashers, it enters the sewage system where it can actually easily be recovered and repurposed. This isn't something that municipalities in the United States are doing. It is happening in some other countries though. According to a report from the London South Bank University, the heated water discharge is leading to a loss of 250 terawatt hours of energy every single year. So be avoided, can this be solved? The unused heat from the sewage can actually be recovered using heat pumps before it reaches treatment plants. At 68 Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius, sewage water is only mildly warm, but heat pumps can capture and concentrate this to produce water that reaches 176 Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. Such a facility has been currently operational in False Creek, Vancouver since 2010. So this does work and it's not a pipe dream. What's exciting is that our heat recovery system operates at efficiencies of over 300%, said Derek Pope, facility manager to the BBC. For every unit of electricity that we put in to run the heat pump, we get over three units of thermal energy or heat out of it. I don't know how that's possible, how you can generate these kinds of returns, but those returns are absolutely groundbreaking. More than 6,000 residents in the neighborhood warm up their homes using recovered heat through a system that works even in really frozen winters when demand is at its highest. Buildings in Vancouver are responsible for 50% of greenhouse gas emissions since they use natural gas for heating. This approach of recovering heat, if adopted widely, can help reduce consumption of fossil fuels and obviously um, can make energy much cheaper for us. Not just a neighborhood in Vancouver, but even densely populated areas in Europe are using heat pumps. In fact, in Stockholm, Sweden, they've utilized this approach and they provide energy to 800,000 residents simply using heat pumps that generate energy from wastewater. The system is completely underground and further uses digested sludge to produce biogas to fuel the city's buses. So not only is this wastewater um, able to operate these heat pumps that can basically power an entire city. It can also power the transportation, the buses in the city as well. In the Danish city of Aarhus, the facility treating sewage water ends up producing 600 to 700 megawatts of energy, the equivalent of a large power plant from the waste that no one needs, that just otherwise flows into the ocean in many cases. Experts told the BBC that tapping into this continuous resource could help the US reach half of its targets for carbon reduction just by using wastewater. What a waste that we aren't already doing this. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.